If you want to learn how to get your product photo to look like this and like this, stay and watch this video. What's popping, YouTube? It's your UK Scott, and today I'm going to be putting you guys on and telling y'all how I take my product photos from my website for Instagram, videos for TikTok, and all that good stuff. So basically, the little tip that I'm about to tell you guys, if you guys have an iPhone XR or like a 10, it's the same thing. If you have a 10 and up, it's going to work. If you have an 8 and below, I'm really not sure about the settings on that phone. So yeah, you can just try it out with me. And if you don't see that that's an option for your phone, then... So you go into your settings and then you're going to want to press um, on the little search bar on top. And you're going to press, you're going to search camera, right? After that, after you press on camera, you're going to tap on record video. Now, you're going to see a whole bunch of different things that say, like, I think it once says, like, 3K, 4K, whatever in cases. You're going to tap on the 4K at 160 FPS. And then if you tap out of that, you're going to go to record slow-mo. And you're going to tap 1080p at 24 FPS. So, that should be, like, the second option, I believe. So basically what you just did there, oh, and here's the rest of my other settings on my camera. I don't know what it's for, don't know like, you know, the meaning behind it, but that's what I have. And um, basically the 4K at, I'm just say 4K 160. The 4K 160 thing, it makes your videos like very, very sharp, like sharp. Like that's the highest quality, but I think that does like take up your data or something like that, but I don't know, it hasn't. My data still is always full. Like, I feel like Apple's data is always full. Okay, so the things that I have from Amazon that I use on a daily basis when I'm taking pictures, doing videos, whatever the case is. I have a ring light, of course. But I don't have a huge ring light because those ring lights be a hundred something dollars. I can get it, but I don't need it. I don't need those huge, big ring, those really big ring lights. So I have a six inch ring light from amazon and it comes with like this thing that you can use for your phone like when i'm vlogging i actually use it so yeah and then i also have a mini studio light box so i'm gonna put both of the ones that um i had this is the one that i had my rabbit true decor it was like 40 something thousand i think but that light box was really good like it was really sturdy the backgrounds that it came with was good I loved it, but I don't want to spend a whole nother 40 whatever dollars on it because I don't use the light box OD. Like, I use it when I need to take pictures for um, my lip gloss on my website, whatever the case is, but I don't use it a lot. But this is the one that I have now. It's a little more affordable. And, I mean, it's good, too. I like this one. The first one that I had was definitely better. But the second one is also good. So, I do recommend it. And now we're going to just get into um, how I take my pictures. And I'm going to show you guys one other thing that you guys should get from Amazon if, like, you actually need it. So, yeah. Okay, so this is my little work area, you guys. It's a little dark because I had to turn the lamp and the ring light off because... It was making too much of a glare in the video. As you can see, I have this little wall. But we're going to get into this a little more later. I mean, I don't think that's grammatically correct. Before I pack orders, take pictures, anything, I always just wipe my um, area down. Because even though if it might look clean, it might be a little dusty. Like, you just never know. Another thing, I'm going to break the video up into sections. So I'm going to show how I take like pictures of the bangles video i'm gonna show how to take pictures of the bangles pictures of my lip gloss and then how i take my videos that's what i'm gonna do and then after that i'm gonna show you guys how i edit to put the picture on my website okay cool okay so this is the section where i'm gonna be showing you guys about bangles so i always have this little um box it's like a little empty jewelry box i'm gonna try to find the link to it or like you know because i bought this a while ago but it came with like a pack of 10 or so i don't remember so yeah the jewelry box it just gives it this really like clean type of look and i love that so for this example i'm gonna be using our hot pink bangle set um this is in our silver collection so i'm just gonna be using this as an example i just like to place everything to make sure that you can see every single charm okay Oh, so you don't want to, you see how that thing just fell? You don't want to take no picture and that thing is off the whole, the charm is off the whole entire box. 
you just want to make sure you can see everything nothing looks too crazy this bangle is sticking out too far so i'm gonna like everything with pictures you have to do gently because if you move too fast it's gonna mess up so now we're gonna take the picture so once again i make sure that the picture it's on 4k 60 you can see that right at, at the um top right corner you see how there's this little black nick right here i make sure that like things like that are not in the photo so sometimes you can take a regular photo oh and then i have my ring light sorry y'all i put my ring light right there like in the corner and you want to make sure there's no like glare no nothing you see a little shadow but that's okay so boom we could take the picture right there or I like to go over to portrait because portrait really just gets the pictures looking good. And you have to just like see. Because a lot of time portrait tells you to move further away. Boom. Wait. Did I just see how I caught that portrait? Oh. Okay. Boom. So you want to catch it real fast. And then you see how it turned out. And that looks bad. So we're going to do that again. Okay. And then I literally gone ahead into my thing and i crop it to square and i make it as big as possible and yeah but this charm is a little blurry so i would redo that but it's okay I don't, i'm not gonna do that right now this is a black dresser but the top is white because i have a wallpaper on it because my dresser like if you can see this right here my dresser started to like it's old so it starts to lose color and I used to take pictures and I used to put like a paper and I'll take pictures on a paper and it just doesn't look good. Like it's just best when you just have the background and you just take the picture. So yeah, yeah. With my beaded bracelets, I also just do the same thing. These are multicolored beaded bracelets. I just make sure, like I said, that there's just like no little things in the background. You just want to make sure your background is just clear. Whether you have a white dresser, a white a purple dresser whatever type of dresser it is you just want to make sure everything looks good like nothing is on your surface no none of that That's so this is the um second um light box that i was telling you guys about not the 40 dollar one the cheaper one i'm not gonna lie i threw away the six color backgrounds because it was kind of a cloth like this and i did not like the way that it looked so yeah i just use the light box itself as the background so when you take it out this is how it looks it's like a oh i like the fact that you can like i mean you can fold the other one but i don't know i just thought this was like cute so you open it it has a little the wire to attach to it so this is how it goes so you have to put each of the I don't know what these things are called but you just have to individually push them in so y'all see what i'm doing it's simple like it, it's, it's not that hard okay boom so then it should look like this and then you're gonna want to take these little wires it's like two wires but it's like one thing right so you take that wait oh you put this into the you need a little square box like this. I'm sorry y'all if the lighting keeps changing. Like I'm just trying to make sure that y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so this is how the light box looks. It is really like, when I tell y'all it lights up so much. And then since, remember when I'm showing you guys the two things up here, you can actually take one of them out if you want to. And you can have like less, of, less light if you want like a little. You know less light i don't know why you would want less light unless you're going for like a dim look but i love the fact that it has those two lights so basically but y'all can see the lights the two lights so one here one there and then this top thing is for if you want to like take pictures from a top angle you can put like your phone camera through that way so yeah that's super cute so I'm going to be taking a picture of these two lip gloss duos. So it's these two and then these two. And let's see. Sometimes with these things and lip gloss, it can be like really uneven, unsteady. And your lip gloss can fall down a lot. So you have to really try to get the picture as fast as possible. Okay, so I got my ring light, y'all. And 
y'all see how that looks that looks good like even though the top i can see that line a little that i hate just gotta play with it so you have to just you know move them around a little the light box is good for the background and for the backlight but then i like to put the ring light put it on the side a little hit it with an angle because from the ring light y'all see this little glare right there y'all don't want that you do not want to see like a glare Sometimes you cannot stop it from happening, but most of the times we can try. So try to keep your hand really steady. We're getting good shots right now. Okay, I was way too loud in this whole entire clip, so I had to do a voiceover. So basically the wall with the bricks and the bats, I'm going to link the wallpaper in my bio. But this is where I do majority of my videos. Um, I just make sure that the light is facing, um, you know, toward the wall or whatever. I'll put a video of this on the screen of um, a video that I've done in front of the wall. It's real simple, y'all. Okay, once again, too loud. It was just, uh. So basically, y'all, I use the app Bazaar. I do pay for it because all the other free apps, like you can find free apps, but between the ads and the services, it's just not it for me. So if you have the money to do Bazaar, I definitely say do it for a year first or whatever. So basically, you're just gonna wanna bring up the picture. I press magic, and um, if like the background is clear, it should erase perfectly. And then I just put a white background behind it. And then you could put a shadow and stuff if you want to. It's a great editing app. And I do suggest it if you have the money to get it. Everything that I said in this video is literally what I do. There's nothing else to it. There's no photographer. It's no secret camera that I'm hiding in my drawer. This is it, y'all. So, yeah, thank you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one, boo. Yeah.